Elizabeth Chapchirchir Sang is a farmer in Kipchemo village in Wasimkishu County. Until 2016, Elizabeth only managed to grow maize on a small portion of her 100-acre farm. Over time, yields dwindled to production of 15 bags per acre, even though she increasingly applied more fertilizer, raising the cost of production against lower yields. Elizabeth is among 35 medium to large scale farmers selected to join a program meant to introduce farming as a business for food security in Kenya. The project, funded by the Dutch government and Equity Bank Group, involved training of the farmers to expand production on underutilized land and increase yields through the use of technology, equipment and value addition. In the training implemented by Equity Group Foundation, Elizabeth learned that she first needed to know the soil quality of her farm to grow the crop of her choice. To the trainee and now to our equity foundation, product young we eka kuja ju, kasabu ali tulete a kampuni ba wa ali kuja soil. To correct the soil acidity for production of maize, Elizabeth was advised to lime her farm. The liming involves simple broadcasting of the lime dust over the land. Lime is a product that is used for soil amendment. That is that means if you have a soil that has a, a pH that is not correct for your crop then you have to modify the pH and you use lime to modify the pH when you want to get faster results. Before a farmer can know whether their farm requires liming, they first of all have to do soil testing. So from the soil testing that was done on this farm, the result was that the pH was too low for uh, growing maize. Uh, the pH actually was 4.6. So any pH less than 5.0 for maize is not adequate or is not optimal. So that's why the farmer, uh, it was recommended from the soil test report that the farmer had to do liming. The maize harvest in the first year of liming increased by 40% to 25 bags per acre. The increase per acre is significant considering that her farm is large. Last year, the panda acre salasini maindi. Nani Kaf is 740 bucks. As a mixed farmer, Elizabeth learned how to keep records on farm operations and determine what activities to enhance based on income realized. The farm records also determine the futility of concentrating on poultry farming, and on that score, Elizabeth cut back on the business. From her income records, she realized profit from dairy farming is potentially high and for that matter, she's invested in the construction of a zero grazing cow shed to increase her herd of dairy animals for more efficient milk production. Housing the dairy animals in the cow shed will enhance production of biogas to meet the farmhouse's energy needs. Kabla sikia fundisha siku kwa najua ya kwamba ni na kama kiazi kani ya maziwa kwa ngombe. Lakini after kuwa trained na watu wa equity foundation, imejua ya kwamba, niko na records ya kuonyesha mimi ya kwamba, kila ngombe inanipea kiazi, kiazi fulani ya maziwa. Niko na ngombe nani ya kukamuliwa, niko na havers watoto yao ambao wako over one year eight, na niko na wali wadogo seven. Katika record keeping, nilikuwa nanua tu chakula ya ngombe. Sikuwa najua kukombea e, product ya masiwa na expenses ambayo natumia kuminua chakula ya ngombe. Lakini after new trend na equity foundation, nimejua sasa kukombea. Nione ni nafanya asara ama ni nafanya faida. Ni nafanya ukulima sasa biashara, ni nafanya kilimo biashara. Najua kwamba kila kitu ambayo natoka lazima nifanya kibiashara user quality and the protection of you.